Welcome back to the homestead. I'm Jacob from Sustainably Yours. I uh, came out to check on the baby chickens. I guess it was yesterday when I caught this. I noticed that we had one that was kind of looking at me sideways. And you know how sometimes animals will turn their head to the side to try and get an angle on uh, where you're speaking from. First, I thought that was what was going on, but as it started moving around, there it is right there. I realized something weird was going on. At first, I thought it had broken its neck, but I couldn't imagine how it would have done that. The only thing I could think of was um, our feeders. They had the little holes in it, and I thought maybe it had gotten its head somehow caught in one of those and broken its neck but I'd never seen that before. It seemed kind of strange. I just started doing a little bit of research and it turns out that it is a disorder of some kind. It's, uh, it's something called wry neck or stargazer maybe syndrome or something to that effect. And apparently it's caused by, it, it could be either genetic or it may be caused by a deficiency in vitamin E and or selenium or maybe a combination of those two things. Um, it could be because since they're young it may be because they their parents were lacking vitamin e or selenium but we're only seeing it in one chick out of the whole group so i'm not sure i don't know what's going on with it i don't know what the root cause is but uh, apparently it may be reversible if we can fix the vitamin e or and or selenium deficiency so we're going to separate that thing out like the problems would be right now. I mean, it's running around like normal. It's it's a it's a chick. It's a healthy chick, other than looking at you sideways and living life upside down. But it's probably having a hard time eating and a hard time drinking water, and it's probably getting picked on a little bit, getting trampled some. So we're gonna pull it out uh, and take it inside, separate it, and try and feed it. Uh, let's see. We're gonna use some kale probably and some spinach some dandelion greens some things like that that are high in vitamin e and we're gonna see if we can't uh, nurse this thing back to health see poor little thing i'm holding it up right it just uh Okay, so we're going to put you in the box here. We're going to take some special care of you. See if we can't nurse you back. I'm having to give it water. I don't think it's been able to get water very well for a while. It's been pretty skittish. It wouldn't even, kind of really wouldn't let me near it until it realized you could get water. <laughs> There you go. How does it drink water off your finger? Yeah. That's good, huh? <clears throat> this is day three since we've brought the little chickie inside the house. We found that it can eat, it can drink water. I can't get it to uh, to eat out of my hand, so when I'm trying to feed it greens, it really won't eat them. So what I've begun to do is I just leave them in here and let them dry out, and then I'm crumbling them up on top of all of the, the feed crumbles. And it'll kind of eat the little pieces of greens while it's eating the crumbles. But it seems pretty, I mean, it seems fairly healthy, aside from the little crooked neck thingy. 